According to Custom Controller General Adewale Adini, enhanced intelligence and collaborative efforts led to this latest interception. The illicit shipment originating from Turkey is part of a concerning trend of increased import of arms, ammunition, drugs, and other prohibited items across Nigeria. Some unscrupulous Nigerians based in Turkey and some other parts of Europe are purchasing and packaging these illicit arms into Nigeria. It was established that four packages inside this consignment were used to conceal 55 pieces of unassembled Georgia Magnum Tom Tomahawk semi-automatic shotgun. Also on display today are uh, some military and paramilitary accoutrements improperly imported without end user certificates. Questions are arising about the involvement of a well-organized cartel behind these illegal activities. The Custom Controller General emphasized that the surge in arms smuggling is particularly alarming amidst Nigeria's current challenges and rising criminal activities. In one of several sanctions of those involved, since we automated our process, uh, our process has the capacity to enable us to do some system-based audits. So we can track a number of things, we can track the importers, we can profile the agents, we can know what they have done before now, we can know what they are putting in our system next. So, you know, the system is so robust that at least we can do all the preliminary data that can give us very credible leads. One suspect is currently in our custody in connection with this importation and is assist assisting with ongoing investigations to uncover the perpetrators of this very heinous crime. Controller Manke Awe and officers of the Motola Mohamed Airport Command were commended for their role in intercepting the illegal shipment. As each new interception adds to the tally of the six contraband, there is a growing call for intensifying scrutiny at all entry points into Nigeria. The aim is to prevent such dangerous cargoes from reaching their intended destinations within the country. Joyce Eri reporting for BTV News.